Welcome back to another Creative Encounter podcast. I'm your host, Juet Payne, and this is episode 15. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We really appreciate you all who have subscribed on YouTube, those who leave a review on Apple Podcasts, those who leave ratings on Spotify, all of that. If you have not done so yet, please, please do that so we can reach so many more creatives and bless them with this ministry and what we're doing in the creative arts. But today I have a very special guest, a friend of mine who is an amazing artist. We have been friends for 10 plus years. I don't even know when, but this is my girl, Tony Rupert. Tony, how you doing? I'm doing great. It is <laughs> yeah. so good to be here, Joette. So good to see you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, guys, let me tell you a little bit about Tony real quick. So we started the Creative Encounter events last year february so next month will be one year that we started that and tony came to the second one so we were still brand new so this was march of 2021 and i had uh, andrew micah at the time he was leading worship and while he was leading worship and while i was speaking tony was painting just a blank canvas initially and made this beautiful art piece right there and by the time it was over, we were like, dude, what is this? And if you watch on YouTube, it's on our on our channel, Creative Encounter, two channels, Creative Encounter and Creative Encounter Podcast. If you go in there and watch it, you just literally see when it was just blank. And by the end, how it just, just blossomed and grew and became that amazing piece. So I just love your art, your creativity, how you just do it right there on the spot. Oh, thank you. You know, thank so you. awesome. So that that's an anointing from the Lord. Like, when did you, man, when did you, like, dive into like painting. I know you do a lot more too, but just on that initially, like when did you dive into it, you know? You know what? That's a good question. I I took the big dive mm-hmm. in with with the big toe in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say when especially when it comes mm-hmm. to live painting, mm-hmm. when one of your previous guests, Juan Carlos Baez, yeah, yeah. when he and his family moved. Oh, to uh to Puerto Rico. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm telling you, that mm-hmm. was a moment when, f- from the very beginning, I remember mm-hmm. my pastor talking to me about live painting, mm-hmm. and he said, you know, Tony, I've got this idea, mm-hmm. you know, I've got this this passage I wanted to talk about, mm-hmm. you know, how do you feel about getting up and painting live, and up until that time, I was like, no, yeah. <laughs> no, hey, no. You got the wrong one. <laughs> the wrong one. Yeah. I said, yeah, that's that's wisely. No, no way, wow. you know. And so I remember when, um, when you know, his family had, had left mm-hmm. for that particular season. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was asked again, and I, I couldn't say. Mm-hmm. I, I was I, It was more of a service. Yeah. It was more of thinking, okay, Lord. Yeah. You are calling me to yeah. do this. Mm-hmm. Let me do it as a service yeah. versus anything else. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so wow. that that was the point when it that's, started. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> now, that just reminded me, yeah, because we all went to a New Life Community Church. And that's how we connected. I, I can't remember. Can you remember when we met? Like, what specific event it was that we met at? I want to say, whoa, it, it had to be 2013. Team, maybe so something. when I was at the Austin Oak Park location, I want to say that, and and, okay. and maybe a time before that. I feel like it was before yeah. that because <laughs> that was like when you came in that day to that service. Um, you came to a few. Right. When you came to that service, I you know I already knew you. I was like, oh, right, oh, right, here. right. Yeah, so, so I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. I, wow, that's awesome. Though. That's crazy. <laughs> so what was it? So you and Juan attended the same location. We, he transitioned and they want to continue that. Yeah. Oh, you, wow. you know, it's it's it was amazing because you know I had known about. Juan and um, mm. the anointing that was on his mm. life and his artists who I had known about that for a long time. Yeah. And simply because we attended the same mm-hmm. you know, church, maybe not the same location, but the same church. Mm. And um, I recall during that period of time when God was starting to really speak to me mm. and push me into different arenas that mm. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask for them. It wasn't mm-hmm. like I was, oh, here I am. Mm-hmm. It was more like, the invitation was yep. there. Yep. And so because the invitation was there, I kept just kept saying yes. <laughs> wow. See, what, what is it? Many are called, few are chosen. Right. It's like he sends, out that, he sends out that invitation, and we have to accept it and right. just go out there and do it. So it's cool. I love how you said they asked you one more time. God was like, look, girl. <laughs> you know? Wow. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So then prior to that, like when can you remember, was it like elementary, high school, that you really started getting into painting? Because, I mean, you do what, acrylic? You do water. Um, what would you call it? Like what, sure. are, what are the different styles? So, that so, you do? so 
I would consider myself an expressionistic mm -hmm. uh, painter. Mm -hmm. I work in oil. I work mm -hmm. in watercolor. And I work in acrylic as wow. well. And then for the children's book that I'm working on, that mm -hmm. whole is a whole new type of technique using layers of oil pastel. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we can get into that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I want to say at the very beginning, I always say blame it on my dad. Okay. Okay. okay, my dad used to work for Brock's Candy Company. Okay. And dad used to come home and he would draw mm. and um it was a, a way for him to decompress. Mm. Well, there were um a lot of kids, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of work and he'd mm. just come home and just kind of draw. Wow. And I remember thinking to myself, I want to do that when I get older. Yeah. He would just have he had such a um special technique the way he did it mm. and he only used a pencil. An eraser and paper. That was it. Yeah. And just created these masterpieces. Just sketch artists. Yeah. Sketch artists, you know. Wow. And so that's when I first began to think I want to do this for myself. Wow. And then fast forward to like middle school, I remember mm -hmm. teachers. Mm -hmm. You know, I they would say turn the page so and so and yeah. I <laughs> yeah yeah. Totally, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. And um, I remember Mr. Van Pragg, I will never forget him. He's my seventh grade teacher, mm -hmm. elementary school. And he would give us these reports to do. And I would always come back with like, you know, 24 pages, 30 pages, mm -hmm. the majority of which were sketches. Wow. You know, I would be, you know, illustrating whatever it was the reporter was oh, about. Wow. And so Mr. Van Pragg, he never said, you didn't finish. You know, yeah. he would always be like, oh, this is great. Wow. Keep going. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? He yes. would always give me encouragement. I love that so much. So even even as an elementary school mm -hmm. student, and then fast forward, um, on the back end of that, I did have a, an instructor, mm -hmm. maybe like sophomore year, I won't mention names, mm -hmm. sophomore year, who said, you know what? I'm not sure if art's your thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Because cause I would come in with these, you know, with these ideas. He'd give us an assignment. Oh, can I do it this way? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. And he was saying that commercial art wasn't my thing. In truth, he was correct. Mm -hmm. Commercial art specifically. Commercial art yeah. specifically. Mm -hmm. what, what he was saying to me was there was a, the, something else had to transpire mm -hmm. before he could say oh, his stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. Well, I had another teacher around the same time, Mr. Mm -hmm. Rhoda, who we're still in mm -hmm. connection with. Yeah. He's in Colorado. And Mr. Rhoda, I'll never forget him. He took me aside and he started looking through my work and he and Mr. Gray started sending it to different competitions in the city. Mm -hmm. They would, you know, just take what I had, mm -hmm. which is not like, you know, even even now you think about what do you have in your hand? Mm -hmm. what, what do you have right now? Mm -hmm. You know? That's good. And so he would take my things and it was a couple of competitions where yeah. I came in like third place and I'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. I, I remember it was me and another young man from Simeon, and mm -hmm. I remember, I never forget him. He would be first, I'd be second, yeah. or he'd be whatever. We would neck and neck. Neck and neck all the time. And yeah. all the time. <laughs> and it was, a, it was a period of time where there was a confidence builder. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was like, you know what? Well, you can do this. Mm -hmm. This is something that God has given you. Share it with the world. Yeah, so that's that's, that's that's what happened. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, and a lot of that, first of all, you had that example from your dad. Mm hmm and, you know, you just really looked up to him. That's what God uses those little moments to get things started. Yes. Then, along the way, you had those encouraging moments, you know. And, of course, in any craft, anything that's expression, there's going to be those, like, others who are like, oh, I don't really care for it. And that's part of it. Right. That's literally part of it. No, 100% of the people are not going to like exactly what you bring to the table. That's true. You know, that'd be crazy. We'll all be on one mold. Everyone's different. But with that, you still push through. You still were executing. And that's awesome. Because I think back to when... um. A lot of people, like for me, like math is like my jam. Like, I love math. <laughs> like, uh, it's just like pretty bad how much I love math. <laughs> like, people are like, dude, like how the... and, and in elementary school, we just had this specific teacher who just made it so much fun. He The way he broke it down, it, it was just amazing. Like, you know, we still connect, uh, you know, on Facebook, you know, That's all awesome. of that. And with that, you need those teachers who really just make you just feel like, yo, I can do this yes. and stuff, you know. I love that. That's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah. So, okay, so then you did all of that. And then you started submitting. You were in like different competitions and right. stuff like that. So did you go to uh, to college? For... I went to college, and and I'll I'll say that the the period of time in between high school mm -hmm. and college was really pivotal for mm -hmm. me because. You know, I was more like a, here's all my stuff. You ever yeah. seen that that young yeah. artist coming yeah. around with, and they said, so show me your stuff. And they bring out a whole yeah, yeah. portfolio. You're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know? I was that artist. And yeah. so I was in another exhibition, which is no longer in existence, but it mm -hmm. was in Humboldt Park. Okay. 
And I remember my judge at the time. My judge was Dr. Margaret Burrow. She was judging that part of the competition. Mm-hmm. I didn't know who she was. Yeah, <laughs> so I didn't know it was Dr. Burrow. I didn't know who she was. Yeah. She came into where I was, and she looked at my things. And, and keep in mind, I was still in mm-hmm. high school to college. Yeah. And she said, she said, you should keep going. You mm-hmm. should keep doing what mm-hmm. you're doing. And... Um, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I was like, who is that? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You're like, uh, you don't know who this is. Right, yeah. right. I didn't know who that was. Wow. But when I found out it was Dr. Margaret Burroughs, one of the founders of the Deuce Album Museum in Chicago, I was like, oh my gosh. And so from there, um, I had a great guidance counselor. Mm-hmm. My guidance counselor, shout out to Mr. Montgomery. Mr. Mm-hmm. Montgomery ended up helping me get to what was then Mundelein, which is now part of Loyola University. Yeah. So I went to Loyola. Yeah. And I was the only, yeah. <laughs> I was only a uh, woman at the time, woman mm. of color, mm. uh, art major, who kind of knew this is exactly what I want to do. Wow. This is it, you know. No, no, no question about it. Yeah. And so um, I was very grateful for my time at Loyola. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Now, let's let's go between that pivotal stage one more time between high school and the college, right? Had, let's see, had you not connected with her, were you kind of in a in a season where you're wondering, what do I want to go to school for? Like, what would have been your alternative? Or, right. or did you already definitely know you're going to do that? You know? No. I think my alternative was listening to other people mm-hmm. say things like, you should do art and. Okay. You ever heard of that? Mm-hmm. Art and. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's art, art. And that's safe thing, Right, right. Do know? art and, yeah. you know. And so I was thinking of, okay, what what can I do? Art and this, art and mm. that. And then when, you know, when Dr. Burroughs was very encouraging to me, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, no, I think, mm-hmm. I think I'm on the right path. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and at this point, it's not I think. She definitely is. It's like, <laughs> like, man, I love Tony's artwork. It's amazing. I want to go ahead and show some of our guests things you've been working on. Sure. Let's start with this right here, this beautiful piece. So Tony comes in with this amazing canvas right here. It's absolutely amazing. So so explain what what this is, where it came from. Sure. So this piece is called Peaceful Transitions. And this is all about what happens when sometimes you can have something on your shoulder over here Mm -hmm. that's positive and something that is beautiful and Mm -hmm. And then on the opposite side, you can have negative voices, too. Mm-hmm. You can have these, you know, oh, try something else. Mm-hmm. That didn't work out. Do something different. Mm-hmm. You know, you can have all these negative voices. And yeah. so this piece here is is a, is a, is a, is a bringing together those voices. But yeah. what's in the middle? Yeah. In the middle is a figure. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's the Holy Spirit. I mean, if you're yeah. thinking about it, you're looking at the Spirit. The Spirit is like, no, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. Peaceful, peaceful transitions mm-hmm. here. And so this is a piece for me that is all about going for beauty, even the midst of wilderness mm-hmm. times. Yep. Going for um, a surety, mm-hmm. even when there are times when it's like, oh my mm-hmm. goodness, mm-hmm. did that even happen? Yep. Huh, you know, yep. things mm-hmm. like that. And so um, I love I love this piece. It's, it's It came to me. Not in a dream, because I was mm. f- f- surely lucid. <laughs> but it came to me, and I was like, ooh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over time, I kept working at it, working at it. And then, mm-hmm. like I was sharing with you before, sometimes just your spirit would say, okay, it's, stop. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Let it go. And so I let that part go, and now it's finished. <laughs> wow. I love yeah. it. It's amazing. Yeah. And what, ty- what type of medium did you use to create this? This is mixed media, but it's all acrylic. Okay. Yeah. Love it. This canvas is dope too. Like yeah. this is a nice canvas. Yeah, this is and, crazy. and and I will say this yeah. too. Shout out to mm-hmm. there was a, a business called the Doll Maker. I'm not gonna get and mm-hmm. hopefully we can link link them up. Yep. But I, I want to say this about kindness. Mm-hmm. Okay, there was a point in time I was preparing for a show, mm-hmm. and you know when you prepare for an exhibition, everything has to be framed, right? Yeah. You know, most of the time yeah. you want to have a the 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 presentation has to be. On yep. point, mm-hmm. and at that point, this was one of my last pieces, mm-hmm. and I was it was down to the deadline. I was like, oh, I gotta get this piece framed, mm-hmm. and uh, through an, a mutual friend, she mm-hmm. connected me with what we call the doll maker, yeah. <laughs> dollhouse maker in Berwyn, mm-hmm. and he actually said, "No, I'm gonna do this frame for you." Wow. Yes, 
That's crazy. He he handmade this. That's like this frame is insane. Yeah, just even looking yeah, at this Yeah, he handmade the frame for me. And every time I think of his kindness, mm. it's like, wow, God, thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't take it for, for granted. Right. And it's always all. confirmation that, like, God sees what you're doing. Yeah. He's right there in the yeah. midst of it. You know, it's like yeah. he, he affirms this yeah. peace and yeah. all of that stuff. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Love it. And then uh, Tony has some other work here on the table. You want to start with that one? Yeah. So these are all untitled. Okay. Because they're so new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but this one here is, again, mm-hmm. uh, about contemplation. And uh, if you see my work, you'll notice that many times there is a figure or two yeah. and there is someone with eyes closed. Okay. okay. I didn't realize that. Okay. I didn't. I, I just paint. Yeah. When, when did you come to that realization? I came to that, that realization recently mm-hmm. after looking at my work and actually looking. I had about... 20 pieces mm-hmm. and 18 of the 20 pieces yeah. had someone in there and they're, yeah. they're the pose is they're active, uh-huh. but that pose is they're contemplating mm-hmm. something. And, you know, I haven't, I have not been given the answer in terms mm-hmm. of what are they contemplating, but yeah. I know it's, it's pausing. Yeah. It's like, I'm inviting the viewer to pause, mm-hmm. to take a minute, to catch your breath mm-hmm. To see beauty, mm-hmm. to see the colors, to see, you mm-hmm. know. And so um, that that wow. that's the newest piece. And that. then the piece before that. Mm-hmm. Here you go. So Love it. Wow. this is um, actually a piece. I have an, um, an older daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is Kayla. And yeah. uh, this piece here was in watercolor. Yeah. And I just, no color. But it is color. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. no, it's no bright color. But in here, it's like I'm seeing her, yeah. who she is. She's confident. She's, um, she's all that in a bag of chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I love this. This is fantastic. Yeah. Now, now pivoting to family. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have this Kayla. Yeah. And you have other children. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've got Kayla. Uh-huh. And then um, we've got Imani, mm-hmm. and then um, we've got two grand boys, oh, yeah. Azaric and um, Ezra. Yeah. But let me back up though, because uh-huh. when you can see your children starting to do things mm-hmm. for God, it's like, whoa, this yes. is pretty awesome. Yeah. So Imani recently mm-hmm. um, created there was a competition at her school mm-hmm. uh, actually in the district yeah. and she was chosen yeah. to complete and design the logo for the Cicero Public Library love it wow. and they had an opening and they had the unveiling wow I was such a proud mama yes. I was like oh my god you, you got your pictures got you got your video pictures, yeah. got video oh. and even Imani even her face yeah the way that she was just like mm. yeah you mm-hmm. know I'm I'm thinking to myself like, wow, when did that happen? Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. but God has been working in her life as He's been working in all of our yeah. lives. You know, and so she's been studying graphic design mm-hmm. for about three years, and mm-hmm. yeah, so that was wow. the result of that. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna pause right now because Imani, that's my girl. What's up, girl? <laughs> pretty much. So Imani used to be one of my guitar students. You guys know my business, Starving Artist Courses. So she's my guitar student, and she was catching on. So she's just. <laughs> She's just gifted. And, you know, Tony is into music as well. So Tony's all around artist too. So Imani got all of that infused in her too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And we talked about for a little bit her doing, um, I think we touched base for a second, her wanting to do graphic design, I think. Yeah. Because I was mentioning I did architecture right. and I do that. So I think right. we we're going to touch base on that. Yeah. So I'm glad that she's venturing into that. Yeah. So if she needs any any help, any support. Awesome. Yeah. Let me know. Awesome. Let me know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually want to go back to something you mentioned about, again, that professor who was like, um, you know, you should you should do this, or you mm-hmm. should continue in this. Mm-hmm. I feel the same way that was happening to me when I was in architecture mm-hmm. school. Mm-hmm. That freshman year, I was like, man, this is tough mm-hmm. already. You know, mm-hmm. it's getting intense. And yeah. going into senior year, I was like, actually, that freshman year was easy <laughs> comparatively because <laughs> it just it just got more and more intense. Sure. But um, pretty much, I had a professor who was actually the director at the time mm-hmm. for that year, and they saw one of my pieces. That's the actual the only model that I kept. Okay. Uh, where they just loved it, and like all of the judges came over, like, mm-hmm. "Oh, this is great!" Mm-hmm. And you know, that kind of helped to push me mm-hmm. to be like, "Okay, I think I'm gonna just keep going and finishing mm-hmm. this thing." You know, yeah, so yeah. again, it's all about uh, 
encouragement. People Absolutely. being encouraged by even just the kindness, mm-hmm. all of that support, mm-hmm. especially as a creative, because yeah. there's so many angles that people can come when they see your art. Uh, so that's really helpful. That's you know? true. Yeah. That's true. Wow. wow. I love what yeah. you shared, just yeah. that you were at a point, mm-hmm. you know, and then they were like, this is the one, this yeah. is it, you know. It, it was insane. Yeah, we had all of our, um, we had our pinups, you know, we had to put up our designs mm-hmm. and you make a model based off of that. And uh, they were just walking around looking at all of them. And a few of the coaches and uh, judges came over and, you know, really enjoyed that one specifically. Wow. I was like, yes. Because, you know, <laughs> leading up to that, you get the, the grades leading up. And right. You're like, oh, this one didn't do too good. So just good. And the, that was the final project for That's the semester. Awesome. And it was like an A or whatever. I was like, yes, that was cool, you know. That's awesome. So those moments, like, propel you. So I was like, thank God, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, so I want to go back a bit for some upcoming stuff you say you got coming on. So you say you got that book. <laughs> so congratulations first off. Thank you. Now I love that. So tell me a little bit about this. Like how did um how did it come about? Did somebody reach out to you? Sure. Tell, tell me the whole process. Sure. So for anyone who is uh interested in children's book mm-hmm. illustration, um pray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Just pray and ask yeah. the Father, you mm-hmm. know, Lord, this is something I would like to do. Um how open the door. You know, mm-hmm. how can a door be open? And so I've been asking about this uh, for, a, for a little bit of time mm-hmm. and the, it, it never seemed to happen, but mm-hmm. it's because I wasn't looking. Mm-hmm. I wasn't paying attention. Mm-hmm. God was bringing me illustration opportunities. Okay. And so I was completing those illustration opportunities. Yeah. They were like a one-off or, mm-hmm. and then someone, a publisher would come back to me and they asked for like four or five or, mm-hmm. so, and so I just kept building my portfolio. Mm-hmm. And so, um, there was, a, a, a friend of mine, she's now a good friend of mine. Yeah. Um, she had a book idea and she reached out to me about illustrating yes. her book. And, and so from there, we have been working on this for since, Mm-hmm. wholeheartedly since September, yeah. but we were planning on it since like last summer. Oh, wow. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Yeah. And then what's the turnaround? Like when will it drop? It's tentatively. I know. I know. Spring. I know. I know, I know, spring. I know spring of this yeah, year. That's yeah. a, that's a quick turnaround. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's really beautiful because it's a story of, mm-hmm. it's a story of refugee families mm-hmm. as told through the eyes of a child. Wow. And yes, so that really is cool. huge because at at this point, I mm-hmm. have been talking to refugee families. I've been interviewing people. I've mm-hmm. been um, learning about mm-hmm. this whole thing. I mean, we're we're here in, in our houses, and mm-hmm. there are people who are being uprooted and mm-hmm. sent and shifted. And mm-hmm. so, what about children? What do mm-hmm. children go through when there's these types of losses happen? Mm-hmm. And so, for right now, I think it's God has given us this 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 concern mm-hmm. and especially the author of the book Candace shout out to Candace yeah. um giving her this burden mm-hmm. and so I'm just uh like a conduit mm-hmm. you know to getting her story told wow. yeah absolutely love it yeah wow and then I want to encourage the artists out there um you've heard it from Tony you've heard it from uh Juan from JC uh pretty much the idea of when you're going deep into your craft you do your research and you start mm-hmm. studying. Like I don't know if you remember when Juan was mentioning how he literally went overseas to yes. be where Paul was at, so yes. that he really feel and breathe and experience what he was going to create in his illustrations. Yes. Yes. And I love how you say you started interviewing, talking to people who went through that because mm-hmm. it makes it deeper, it makes it more full. Mm-hmm. So, so pretty much, you know, don't don't get be content or or you know even just lax or you know go go a little deeper. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're a musician and stuff like for me, mm-hmm. like with music, some stuff can kind of come. A little easy for mm-hmm. me with it, so I can find myself not practicing mm-hmm. as much, or whatever. So I was like, "No, you got to push through that and be like, no, there's still so much mm-hmm. more to learn. Absolutely. Go deeper, so that because because God, He honors that. Mm-hmm. I feel He takes all mm-hmm. your stuff to mm-hmm. the next level. So mm-hmm. you know, let's make sure that we're doing that. You know, I love that. It's so cool. Oh my gosh, you know, mm-hmm. when you were sharing about God honors, mm-hmm. I think He honors the work when it begins. Some people say, oh, when it's finished, yep. it's going to look like this. Mm-hmm. And when I get to a certain point mm-hmm. or when my portfolio looks like this mm-hmm. or when my final looks like this. But God honors mm-hmm. the work when it's beginning. Yeah. When when he gives you an idea, you say, okay, Father, let me do something with this. And so you just put the little pencil to the to the yeah. paper. Yep. You, you start with the keys and, and you just start. At that point, mm-hmm. he's like, "Yeah, thank you. Yes. That's all I wanted was the idea to go forth in wow. the world. So, you know, versus so 
how we are. We want to see the finished product all the time. So powerful. Like the, the blessing in just saying yes. Yes. You're just saying yes. Um, it's funny because I was just reading um, uh, Genesis, you know, kind of doing the whole Bible in the year thing, you know, going back through Genesis sure. and how Abraham, you know, he was calling Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, mm-hmm. you know, with that test mm-hmm. and everything. And then with, with Abraham going through it, through with it, and then he'd be like, wow, now, now I see that your faith mm-hmm. is fully mm-hmm. in me. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, I'm going to bless you. Like, mm-hmm. and, and God swore on his own name, mm-hmm. I'm going to bless you generation mm-hmm. after generation after generation. With that, I was seeing, if you look at the next chapter immediately after that, um, uh, Sarah, she passed. And then he went to go get a plot of land for her to bury her. And he was talking to the people and he was just saying, like, hey, let me know the full price for it so I can pay for it. And he kept saying, like, um, no, um, we want to give you this. We want to bless you with mm-hmm. this land. And then he insisted. Abraham was like, uh, no, I, I want to pay mm-hmm. full price. And he said, this is worth this 40 mm-hmm. silver coins, whatever much. And what is that amongst friends? Mm-hmm. We want to bless this land mm-hmm. for you. So right then, right off the bat, you saw God was blessing. Mm-hmm. The blessings mm-hmm. just started just yes. coming and stuff, you know. Yes. And it started with Abraham didn't do anything crazy deep yet or anything like that or whatever. He just said yes to what God called him to do initially, wow. and then those doors just flew open. I love it right away, you know. So like, I love that. Even how you were just saying, like, you know, I go back to the church, and they're just like, "Oh, can can you have feeling this spot?" Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, "Okay, let me do this, you know, for the Lord. Let me relent, you know, yeah. essentially." Yeah. And then uh, look how God's just been blessing you. Yeah, you know, yeah. I love that. Now that's a project uh, that you're doing along with a friend. Right. What's a personal? A project that's kind of in the works, you know, something that you have personally that you've been working on for this year. Sure, sure. So I am working on a new body of work, mm-hmm. and it's because um, obviously the book takes precedence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This um, body of work is only for about four hours on a weekend. Okay, there we go. <laughs> However, hey, that's a lot. That's a lot more than a lot of people do. So <laughs> seriously, yo. so I'm I'm excited because yeah. I did I did the first piece, mm-hmm. um, and I was really excited about it, mm-hmm. and and people have have actually I was sharing it, and people have actually said they had the memories that came from that piece mm-hmm. was beautiful, and mm-hmm. so I'm looking at the relationship between um, our forefathers, mm-hmm. grandparents grandchildren yeah. i'm looking at relationships but going a little deeper with them yeah. and um it's been phenomenal for me to go through i, I keep a, a album on my phone and it's like of possible ideas and so as long however long it takes yeah. i'm just like lord this is what you've given me yeah. you know and so mm-hmm. um i'm excited about it because it's a whole new world for me, mm-hmm. being a grandmother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a whole new thing for well. me. Uh, but I'm finding I was a mo- uh, a mom of girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. And now I'm there a grandmother is. of boys. Yeah. And it's a whole new world. <laughs> oh, wow. That's true. Yeah. And so I want to capture um, the joy in that. Mm-hmm. I want to capture, an, again, invitation. Mm-hmm. A, inviting people to see the beauty that's mm-hmm. in those relationships. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we're in a hurry. Yeah. And we and we're you know oh I gotta go here I gotta go there I'm so busy, mm-hmm. but inviting people to see the details yeah. you know. Yeah. So. All right, so I absolutely love that. That is amazing. So tell me how people can find you. Like how can people find your artwork and what you're doing? Sure, absolutely. So I do have a website. Mm-hmm. It's real easy. It's my name TonyRupert.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, my website. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn mm-hmm. as Antonio Rupert okay. Art. It's go. the same way yeah, forever and ever. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I love it. Good. You know, so yeah. Um, yeah, I I'm easily I'm easily there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay. Great. Now, as you've seen on previous episodes, I always want to leave leave our viewers with something to ponder on. Uh, for them to, um, you know, respond to, you know, call to action, essentially. So what's something that we would say to our viewers? What's a question we may want to ask them to kind of help them pivot mentally as it relates to their craft? Mm-hmm. What's something that we want to kind of leave with them? Absolutely. I would ask any listener, mm-hmm. are you being persistent? Mm-hmm. There is, in, in in our culture, there's a thing that says, well... I'm going to try this, Mm -hmm. and then I'll try something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I'll just try something else. Mm -hmm. But God's word talks about Mm -hmm. persistency, Mm -hmm. okay? Um, In the the Passion Translation, it Mm -hmm. talks about knocking and seeking, but it also taught there's a word persistence Mm -hmm. in there. And God showed me that word in 2022, and it's Mm -hmm. like he was inviting me 
he was saying, are you being persistent? And I was so in, oh, I got to, you know, post at this point. I got to paint on that, you know, use a type of brush. Mm -hmm. No, my sister, are you being persistent? Mm -hmm. And so I would just invite people, any listener, mm -hmm. You know, are you being persistent with the gift that he's given you already? Yeah. Yeah. Not the one that you want to have 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's so good. Because yeah. we can find ourselves as creatives kind of piling a lot of things up or doing something just for a little bit. Be like, oh, it's not going the way I want. Let me jump to the next trend or the next thing. And uh, it's, it goes back to that. I don't fear that statement. We kind of overestimate what we can do in a year. Mm -hmm underestimate what we could do in a decade mm -hmm. you know some things just take time to mm -hmm. just grow yeah. and everything so we want to be able to give that i love that that's so good absolutely tony thank you so much for being here and i want to thank you just for just over time just partnering with the ministry in general just being a support to duet z pain music creative encounter um in so many ways you've just been just such a blessing uh starving arts courses just really being a blessing with all the creative things that God has blessed Gabby and I to mm -hmm. do um, in the world, and you've been sowing seeds into mm -hmm. that. So we just really appreciate your faithfulness and your your support with that. Amen. It's been yeah. my pleasure. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Guys, make sure you follow Tony Rupert Art on all of the platforms you mentioned. We will have the link below. And if you want to partner with Creative Encounter Duet Z Pain Music, please follow the link below as well to become a monthly support partner so we can continue to podcast, have our events, and just outreach and reach so many people with the gospel and creativity. Again, we love you guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to Creative Encounter, and we'll see you next time.